what is going on everyone my name is matt and welcome to a new video on my channel now in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys about a story on how i got a dragon lore in csgo for free now before i get into the story i want to make clear that this is not a tutorial video or something this is just a story of me telling about how i got a dragon lore for free some of you guys might have seen my video on how i got a knife for free in csgo and that has something to do with this video as well so in that video i talked about how i did some photoshop work for some csgo keys and how i traded those keys up to a knife in the end but quite some people commented about the fact that how i was spending time on photoshop is basically working and i totally agree but the whole point of that video was for me to show off how i just got a knife in csgo without spending of my own actual real life money in csgo to get a knife so now we've got that out of the way let's talk about how i got the dragon lure for free no i didn't get the dragon lure from doing a sponsored video or just getting it from a sponsor instead what i did was in the video of me explaining how i got a knife for free i promoted a website called csgo fast and no i'm not sponsored by this website and actually i think no one's actually sponsored by this website but anyway the referrals on that website are pretty nice so that's why i referred some of you guys to that website so when the pgl Krico major started i really don't know how to pronounce that but anyway i ended up having 180 dollars in referrals so as i already said that the Krakow major started i did some match betting with the referral money that i had now me i am not good at the game at all and i'm especially not good at like the pro scene so i just hit some random bets and i ended up making a little bit profit so when i first cashed out and actually i i thought it was over from here because i'm really shitty at predicting and like analyzing the pro games and stuff so i, I basically thought it was over from here so i cashed out a 225 dollar karambit vanilla so my first match bet was gambit versus mouse esports and i put 100 dollars on gambit which made me 122 dollars because gambit won then i lost 25 dollars on the match from flipside versus fanatic because i put my money on flipside and they lost then i lost five dollars on Vega squadron that were first saying furthest pro and then i lost ten dollars on Banza versus sk and i bet on penta continuing on i lost 50 dollars on cloud nine versus big which was actually quite an impact on the balance that i had because 50 dollars was kind of a lot for the balance that i was playing with then i won a 20 dollar bet on gambit versus g2 which made me 40 dollars and then i put 243 dollars on sk versus astralis that bet made me 163 dollars and after that bet i cashed out a karambit vanilla continuing on i put 60 dollars on fanatic versus furthest pro and fanatic won so i lost my 60 dollars and then i put 36 dollars on vegas squadron versus penta and penta won so i lost 36 dollars next up i put 50 dollars on flipside versus phase and flipside actually won so that's kind of a crazy percentage because phase had 79 percent chance to win or well uh, at least the odds were like that so that 50 dollar bet maybe 176 dollars and 10 cents so that is actually a pretty nice win continuing on i put 25 dollars on mouse esports versus north and north won so i lost my 25 dollars next up is a pretty big bet i put money on big uh, that that was really funny i put 76 dollars and 10 cents on big versus sk and big one and that made me 184 dollars so that was actually a pretty nice win as well because that was a 27 percent chance for big to win and that made me a lot of money too so after that win i decided to cash out a 84 dollars flip knife brightwater and a 142 dollar m9 blue steel because i knew that if i would keep it in my balance i would eventually lose all the money so i decided to just save cash out along the way i was making some profit so in the end i would still lose no money at all even though i technically wouldn't lose anything since it was referral money it was money of my own that i could just cash out right away but i decided to gamble it so that's why i chose to cash out some skins along the way of me winning on these matches so after this cash out of these two items i still had money left on seas go fast so i decided to keep on betting on the teams so my next bet was 17 dollars on immortals versus sk and sk won so i lost 17 dollars and then after that I put a random bet on a team called Y6 versus Gatekeepers and Y6 won so that made me like $50 because I put $35 on Y6 I don't know why I did that but anyway maybe money so I can't really complain so the next match I bet on was Cloud9 versus Furthest Pro I put $95 on Cloud9 and they lost so I lost $95 the match after that was Flipside versus Immortals and since Flipside had won the match earlier that I put money on I decided to go on Flipside again so I put $35 on Flipside but sadly they lost so I lost my $35 so I didn't do any cash out since I was losing a little bit of money over here So I decided to put $58.50 on Gambit versus Fnatic and Gambit won the match So I won $62 and the match after that was SK versus Astralis and Astralis had a lure percentage So that's why I went $100 on SK kind of a big bet, but I ended up losing the bet on SK So I lost $100 so the match after this was Immortals versus Big and I ended up putting my money on Immortals It was $50 and I won $47 because Immortals won the match then the next match was north 
versus Furtis Pro and I put $40 on North and Furtis Pro ended up winning because you know Furtis Pro is, is just a better team than North in my opinion. But anyway, I like to place my bets on teams that have a lower percentage so the outcome is bigger and you know with match betting on underdogs, I think it's just fun to watch and you learn a lot of stuff while you're betting on these teams too. So the next bet was on Gambit versus Astralis and Gambit was the underdog here with a winning percentage of 28% so that's why I put $100 on Gambit because I knew they were doing really well this tournament so I decided to just go big on Gambit with the money that I had left so I put $100 on Gambit they ended up winning versus Astralis and that match bet made me $233.77 so I was at a pretty nice balance after this so I decided to cash out three items it was an M9 Safari Mesh an AK Fire Serpent and an M9 Scorch with a total value of $350 together and after this cash out I still had some money left so I decided to put $70 on Immortals versus Gambit and I lost my money on Immortals because Gambit just totally crushed this crackout major I don't know how they did it because they were such an underdog team but uh, I mean I made a lot of money on Gambit so I'm pretty happy that they won because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to make this video in the first place so that is pretty nice so what I did with all these skins that I cashed out from CSGO fast is I deposited them on OP skins and sold them for real money but instead I decided to buy a dragon lore from OP skins so I can make this video for you guys now I'll probably end up selling the dragon lore soon again on OP skins but first I'll just keep it in my inventory just for lols I guess I mean I already have a field tested dragon lore so I don't really need a battle scarred one now I hear some of you thinking Matt why wouldn't you just give away the dragon lore to us I mean, I didn't pay any money for it, so I might as well, but I mean, that's so much money to me still, so if this video reaches 5,000 likes in one week, I'll give away the Dragon Lore in one of my next videos, so make sure to hit that goal if you want me to give away a Dragon Lore for you guys, but 5,000 likes is kind of hard to get, so for now, I'm gonna give away an Ob Lightning Strike to you guys. The only thing that you have to do is retweet the tweet that I will link down in the description below. You don't really have to like this video, but I mean, if you want to go for the goal of me giving away a Dragon Lore, then you know what to do, unless you really fucking hate this video. Anyways guys, that was it for today's video. Now, if you did enjoy that, make sure to subscribe to my channel and maybe turn on my notifications if you want to see more of my videos. And also, don't forget to check out my website, mattcs.com. All my social media links will be there and also all my gambling goes so you can gamble for free on various websites in the CSGO gambling community. And that was actually basically all that I had to say for this video. And, you know, I'm out.